In light that I will be trading some of these Pokemon soon, I have decided to go ahead and briefly discuss with commentary how exactly I got my test bot to work and also give a brief explanation. I'm sure some of you are familiar with TAS as in Tool Assisted Speedrun. That is when you attempt to beat a game using superhuman reflexes by counting on tools like RAM Search, RAM Watch, Memory Visualization and Lua Scripting. These are all fascinating tools that have generated things like those Castlevania runs, Super Mario runs and even Pokemon runs. Test videos is absolutely fascinating and I suggest you watch those sometime. Now, for Pokemon, I decided to delve into the world of Tool Assist Superplay. That's when you use the same tools they have, but you honestly don't care as much about speed. You can see here, I'm not doing frame perfect inputs for speed. I honestly don't care because my goal is only reaching perfect DVs for the Pokemon I want to transfer and later trade to you guys. And that is the key here. You can use the same tools and take your time with it. I will be keeping my source code closed. It's a very simple Lua script, which I call Togami Bot. In a nutshell, the bot is executed right before the point where the battle begins. This does not apply, as I mentioned before, in regards to walking encounters, but this video focuses on the legendaries and Snorlax, which you just walk up to. And really, that allows you to reach shiny and flawless TVs. So I'm gonna briefly mention what I said in another video, which is getting a shiny from 1st gen to 7th gen can only be possible in some edge cases because of the aforementioned issue. The attack, special, and speed DVs must be 10, and only a portion of the defense DVs can be legal here. You can see here that I'm approaching the Articuno. Now you see where there where it does a noise? That's the last point before the battle begins. That's when my bot runs. One thing that people use in TAS is called a movie file. It's a series of inputs that make a seamless tool assisted video look like it all happened in one go. But of course, that's not exactly what happened. My bot brute forced those attempts until it got exactly what it wanted. You can see here, Articuno was once again flawless. I'll be showing the stats later in the video. But for now, keep in mind that everything I'm running into is shiny. That's 1 in 8192 chance. And the odds just keep increasing and increasing and increasing. And really, it's always going to happen because it's a tool assist video here. Another example is Pan and Koek, his half an Apris video. And obviously, he's not going for speed running, but he's going for tool assist super play. That's the best way to describe and compare what the hell I'm doing. Now, of course, something that Pan and does requires much, much more planning and thinking because here all I'm doing is just getting one thing right, which is the stats off a of Pokemon and if you break it down, it's essentially the same thing over and over with very few changes. You can see here that I'm just walking now for the next location. That's that's on me. The bot does not do that. The bot only does save stating, load stating, pausing, and checking, but not writing the RAM of the game. This is all perfectly legal and follows the legality definition of some trading sites where I hope to trade these guys. I want to be very clear on that, very transparent. Now let's see, what else should I say? Yeah, the shininess is always determined. Back, we're flying directly to Lavender because the birds and Mewtwo were caught. And of course, I'm leaving proof of the whole thing later. You can watch it, the short version or the long version. It's all a single tool assisted video. Now, 
You can do the math, pause the video, check the stats, fact check me. I welcome that. Uh, of course, it's all going to be shiny when transferred to first gen. You can check each and every one of the stats and it will match up. I promise you that. I guarantee it. I have transferred these guys over. I have posted photos on Twitter. I have personally checked all of this out myself. Everything is kosher, as they say. Everything. It's worth noting that this is just a piece of what I did. I have done almost 100 Pokemon to get the full set of what can be legal in first gen. And if you're watching this and second gen has come out, all I have to say is, shit, this stuff isn't as valuable anymore. I had a fun run, that's for sure though. And thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it.